Sudbury Wolves are very proud to select from the Pittsburgh Penguins elite, Luca Blonda. You know, Luca's a guy we started watching a lot last year, being up in here in Sault Ste. Marie, and they had a, a real strong team that he was really the quarterback of, you know, at the back end. And, um, you know, he went to Pittsburgh and he had a great season there. He had an outstanding silver stick, everybody that was in to see him. And the way he can kind of move around the ice, he's so, he's such an elite skater. And, you know, he really drives the play. You know, when you talk to his previous coaches, they talk about the competitiveness of, of him and how he just wants to win. You know, that's what drives him. And and he, he's just got a real good sense of timing and his skill level is really high. So, you know, we were sitting there in the draft and really hoping he was going to be there. Uh, you know, since I've been here, I think that might be the first defenseman we've taken in the first round. Uh, you know, it tells you a lot about how much we like Luca. He's one of those defensemen that's just hard to forecheck against, right? He's very elusive because his feet are so good. So when he gets down and he, and he moves the puck, Luke is not one of those guys that has to, you know, even though he was a young guy, he had such a good skating, he's, he's got real good awareness of when to move it and when to jump in and join. And, you know, it's not one of those things that he's got to go end to end. So he's, uh, I think just his hockey IQ, his hockey sense, he's a real confident young guy when you talk to him. Like when you speak to Luke, it doesn't feel like you're talking to a 16 year old. Uh, you know, he's, he's got a maturity level to him. And, and you know, just overall, he's, he's one of those guys that, you know, we just really think could, could, could really become an elite defenseman in this league. And, and we really think he's got a bright future. Sudbury Wolves are proud to select from the London Junior Knights, Ethan Dean. Well, every time we watch London this year with Ethan, like his speed, right? Like he's an elite skater. He, he's all over the ice. Like he closes gaps really quickly. Um, you know, he's he makes it hard for defensemen because he can take away space really quickly on you. and. He always seemed to be around the puck, you know, and he, and he hunts. He's not one of those guys that sort of sits in the quiet areas and, and needs somebody else to, to sort of go and get it for him. He's one of those guys that sort of can drive play on a line. And, and just to, just the, the, the speed that he played the game with, um, you know, was something that we really feel will translate well to the Ontario Hockey League. And, you know, it's, you see, you watch hockey today and it's it's a fast game. And, you know, he has that ability to, to play it at that speed. Well, I, I think he's one of those guys that's just going to be really hard for defensemen, right? When they're coming at you that quickly, they force you to make decisions a lot faster than you might like to. So, you know, as he gets stronger, like any young guy, that's a big part of his development. We'll just be working hard in the gym and getting his body to kind of match the rest of his game. And, and when that happens, you know, this will be the adjustment year for him. And and uh, But I really think he projects, you know, really well to, to play the game in this league. Sudbury selects from Ottawa Myers, Henry Doucette. Well, Henry's a guy that we, we didn't think would be there in the third round. You know, when we were sitting around talking and he, he's one of the guys we had conversations with about in the second round uh, when we went with Ethan. And, you know, he's another guy that has elite speed. I think at the combine, in all the skating tests, uh, Henry and Ethan were one and two, you know? So uh, Henry's another elite skater, a little more physical grind to him, a little bit more of an edge to him. Um, which I really think translates well to the Ontario Hockey League. He's a physical guy that can really skate, um, you know, and he, and he just, he's not afraid to go to the dirty areas, you know, and he's one of those guys that I think a lot of people love to play with because he plays the game extremely fast. And he also has that physical element to him that I really see kind of evolving over the next few years. But uh, he's, he's an outstanding player. He comes from great bloodlines, great family. Um, so, you know, we're really, really excited about, uh, about Henry. What's funny, at the OHL Cup, Cole, I think, had just come out of the Great North Midget League playoffs. So he had already played, I think, five or six games in a row, five days in a row. One that, you know, and then they got in their car and drove straight. They played in the finals of the Great North Midget League straight to the OHL Cup, where he played another, you know, four or five days in a row. And, and you were, you know, impressed with him, as was everybody. And with Cole, he's just got such, he's so smooth and fluid. His feet are so good. Um, you know, I really don't think he's even come close to finishing his growth. Uh, you know, he's a big enough guy as it is, but, you know, as he puts on strength, he comes from a big family. Uh, his, you know, his dad's a big man and he's just such a such a fluid skater. Uh, you know, he, he was as good as he was at the OHL Cup. We felt he was even better at the Great North playoffs up here because they were in Sudbury this year. And uh, and he just really, really, you know, jumped off the ice at everybody. So we, we were really excited to get cool. Well, really excited, right? I mean, Mateo started like the year before when he was playing up as an underage with the Sudbury U16 team. I mean, that year he stole a lot of games for them. You know, he kept them in a lot of games and stole some games. And, you know, he went uh, he went to Barry this year, you know, and it was a transition year for him. And he had a lot, 
lot of things that, and you know, he ended up making the Olympic, the youth Olympic team. Um, just a really positive, mature young man, you know, competitive. Um, so he's always worked in Sudbury here with one of our one of our goalie guys, uh, Matty Mayhew. And so we knew him really well. We knew the character of him really well. Uh, comes from an outstanding family. Uh, you know, when you talk to him, he's mature. He's always got a positive attitude. So, you know, we're really excited to be able to get Mateo. I know we had some some sort of needs here in the first four rounds that we really felt we wanted to address and did with some speed up front and some pretty elite defensemen. Um, you know, so we had sort of talked before the draft that, you know, ideally if we can get into the fifth round that we got to start looking at you know, the best goalie available and we're hoping Mateo's there. So we were really lucky to be able to do what we did in the first four rounds and, and to be able to grab Mateo when we did. Another extremely, extremely mature young guy. Like he is a leader. Like this guy is a, uh, you know, he, he's, when you meet him and you talk to him again, he, he, you don't feel like you're talking to a 16 year old. Like he's, he's got a real positive energy to him. And, you know, he's, he's a leader and he did that in Oshawa. You look at the success that team had, right? And it wasn't necessarily the most talented team on paper, but they had some really good pieces and some really good leadership. And he was a huge piece of that, right? So, you know, he was a guy, again, like it, it seems to be the, th the theme of all drafts, probably for all teams, is that when you get to a certain round and there's a guy that, that you really liked that you didn't think would be there, you know, Brady falls right into that category. So he's been super uh, proactive this summer. He's, you know, he's been working a lot with uh, on, on his on his off ice game and on his skating. You know, I just had a scout out to watch him this week and he was, you know, playing really well. And so he's, he's a guy we're really excited about for the future as well. But first, we, we, we really liked our draft. We felt we addressed, you know, some real good skill, speed, um, you know, so the way the game is played today. And we got we got we got a, a good rounding of all the different positions. And we felt we got one of the, the, you know, the top goalies that was available in the draft. There are some jobs up for grabs here this year. Uh, so we're going to see how, who comes in and grabs. And we got an entirely new coaching staff. Uh, real excited about Scott and Andrew and Drake coming in uh, with Mike Lawrence. So, you know, all these guys have a fresh uh, sheet of paper to work with. and. And uh, these coaches are looking forward to seeing them in a couple of weeks.